and looking for a brain championship tonight. The number one car, the kid's kid, Billy Pouch Jr. His first track championship at Bridgeport Speedway is going to be his 10th championship in his career. Going racing! After. Yeah, you're good. So give us the lowdown, where we got to start, what we got to do. I think we just had to sign in, to be honest with you. So uh, we'll, we'll get through the night and see what happens, and then make sure we we have a good night. It's kind of cool, right? Um, I don't know the facts, right? You, get, you should, I think theoretically, we pulled it off. Be the first father-son to win the championship Bridgeport, too. So that'd be kind of cool, Luigi up in here. Um, so now let's go uh, win the race for you guys all. Again, thank you for a great season here. Um, actually, we're flying really fast for me. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like uh, we just started it recently, and, and next thing you know, we're, we're running into the end of the year show. So again, thank you guys for a great year, um, great everything. What's up, guys? Welcome, 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 welcome. We are at Bridgeport Speedway. Tonight is championship night. So we've been following along all season. The guys have been working their butts off for this night. Like, all this for tonight. And so, we've got, I think going into tonight, I'm pretty sure we have like a 59 points lead. All we have to do is start the race. Like, I think Billy claims all we had to do was sign in, but like, I'd like to start the race. I'd like to win the race, but we pretty much just had to show up to like clinch the championship and like bp3 said like billy said this will be his first championship here dad's one here so just hit me in all the feels it's fine guys it's fine but big night exciting night and uh just finished up driver's meeting then we're gonna head out to hot laps Marble, the number one car down the back straightaway right now, comes into tonight's racing program. 654 points, the leader, two time winner. See you. It's a pleasure. Just leave it. Hey, do me a favor. With cigarette in hand, too, mind you. Because right now it's smooth. You'll know your travel. Art. 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 about how you drive this place flat out.
Eight, final row, spot number seven. The sixth car, Matty Ice, Matt Stangle. And looking for a point championship tonight. The number one car, the kid's kid, Billy Pouch Jr. The Marvel's number one mount. They'll swap lanes down the back straightaway. Sammy Martz Jr., the Izzy Trucking and Rigging car, works into the number three spot. Four lanes strong on a turn number four. Kale Ross, the B&T Snap-on Tools, number one 12 car, works into the number four slot. Franz has the lead, Lawbox second, March Jr. is third, Ross fourth, Cozy in the Harry's U pull at number 34 car, back there in spot number five. Then Matty Ice, Matt Stangle runs in spot number six. Billy Pouch Jr. in slot number seven, and Pritchka in spot number eight. Kind of work for it, but then again, it was when we won the cold cracker. It was just kind of more of a simultaneous thing. So sometimes that's even more fun, though. You know, but you can't prepare. I went eight to six. I got sang on the last lap. Uh, ran a little cautious with that um, one of the cars out there. I just didn't know which way he was going to go, and ran seventh, seventh, and finally diamond in the last corner and ended up sixth. Uh, not too much excitement, but we passed the car, so. Uh, Keith says I need to get kicked in the rear end and get myself in gear, you know. Uh, we're, we'll, see, we'll see what we got. It's, uh, it's how many laps? I don't even know, 30 laps? I start 14. Todd's, Todd's working on the tires. He is, uh, so when he started 10 years ago, no one knew who Todd Cool is. Now he can't even walk by the trailers. They all shake his hand. Leg legendary Todd Cool. Oh, you should be proud, right? Right, Keith? Everyone stops him in Middletown. You, you are. So I'm sure you guys are like well aware if you follow along, you know. So Mike is currently at Fonda from Fonda 200. Your girl cannot be in two places at once. She like has not figured that out yet. But we are here watching Fonda. They're about ready to call us to go line up to have a grand stand. They're just doing driver introductions, so that's what we're watching over here. weeks we've been bringing out a backup car. Sorry, they're doing the national anthem over here at Fonda. Um, so uh, we've been bringing our backup car here again for points and March Jr. 
it's literally, I don't know where he's running, but he came over and wanted to ask for our, to take out the backup car, start and park. So, June, March Jr. is gonna hop in our car, and they're literally rolling out for us. I just, I just, I just couldn't even take the phone camera. Right? I, I kept, I kept switching. Hey, Jackson. 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 Hey, here we go, about a turn of a four right now. We go racing. Brands at the drop of the green flag while Frankenfield swaps lanes to the inside. Frankenfield down to the inside. Scooby Lawbach back there in spot number three. Here comes Bart Senior down the back straightaway in spot number four. Cozy with great momentum down the back straightaway spot number seven. They'll scramble on a turn number four this time. Brands at the helm. Have you not seen my mic yet? So fuzzy. <laughs> so fuzzy. It is. Um, lap nine caution. We are in eighth. We look good. We look good. Just needed a caution. So. Pouch Jr. 14th to eighth. Here we come on a turn to before this time. Green flag flies. Stoyer glues himself to the inside. Stoyer's got a great groove cut here at the speedway on the inside line. Williams is your leader. Stoyer second. Third spot. March Sr. Frankenfield is fourth and a three wide battle for spot number five between four cars. Laubach down the back straight away spot number five. Here's Manning for sixth. Pouch Jr. seventh. Cozy is eighth and he's got Cole Stengel to deal with. Swapping lanes on a turn number four this time. Pouch Jr. and Cozy. Two of the best in the business here every Saturday night at Bridgeport. Lap 13, caution. Williams just blew up leading. We are in six. Here he comes on a turn number four this time. Bart Sr. hits the pedal. Three wide for the number four spot. Down across the hunt. Manning and Pouch 
Rubbing rails down the back straightaway this time. Pouch around the top side for the number four spot. Laubach losing ground down the back straightaway. Stoyer, Martin Senior, Frankenfield, Pouch Jr. and Manning top five. Cole Stangle sixth. Frank Cozy is seventh. Second spot getting tight. Frankenfield and Pouch Jr. Pouch Jr. from 14th starting spot now takes over slot number three. Pouch Jr. the Marvels number one car down the back straight away into the number three spot. He travels, swapping lanes again. Frankenfield right back down to the inside, trying to be a match. It does not work. Frankenfield will now set up for spot number four. Manning fifth, Cozy sixth. Beacon Building Products, number seven, Coast Bouncer Mel, Cole Stangle right there between Laubach and the 44 of Cozy. Second place battle now going to take shape out in the speedway. Bart Senior has it. He can hear footprints in the hallway. Does he know that it's Pouch Jr. behind him? Stoyer way out front. Martin Pouch could throw a blanket over him as they work down the home straightaway. No, I took my time too much getting through. I wasn't aggressive enough. Okay. Wait, anybody on us for a third? No. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Have a job, right? That was good. What was I going to say? Uh, I was better than, honestly. He turned your fastest lap overall, lap 18, you were putting in the store. Yeah, he was more aggressive getting through. I was a little too cautious. This is what it was, you know what I mean? It was like, ah, oh, shit. I wanted to tiptoe a little bit. Nothing really mattered, but I was like, eh. Right. Anyone come on? Come on the back side. On the back side. Get on the back side, Avery. Ah! Get over here, Pitts! That was weak, guys. Ah, come here. Ah. All right, ready? Anybody ready? Hold on. Good. Come on, ready? Come on. Oh, you, you suck! Oh, man. Ah. That's alright. I need a rag. I'm gonna take your shirt. Ah, ah there we go. I can see ya. Boy, Billy Pouch Jr. Three generations later. Yeah, I can hear that one. Ah, thank you. Oh. Billy won a dollar tonight at Woodford to bring the Pouch game back for a track championship on track where your father enjoyed so much victory. What a great honor! And now, of course, how many years will it be until we see the fourth generation right here as well? Pretty soon, he's way better than I am here. It took me a while, so uh, that was pretty cool, right? We won. Uh, we got we took Chris down. We won here. We won the Cold Cracker together. Uh, man, I uh, everyone came out here tonight. It was a 
a lot of other people that helped me out through the year, right? That's why you see everyone here. It's just, it isn't me, it's everyone that makes it go around, man. Uh, set out one goal here to win the championship uh, early on in the year, and that was one of the most important ones to me. Uh, I lost a couple over the years, the seconds, the thirds, and uh, just glad to get back here. Uh, it was a real great night. Uh, man, I got a lot of people to thank. As you can see, uh, this one's really cool to have my kids here, cool to have everyone enjoy it and spray the champagne. And uh, these guys, guys, they work in and work out, man. Uh, dedication is unbelievable, and uh, it's really great to see. You've got a handful of different rides and a handful of different tracks throughout the year. But there's got to be a big difference between driving these different cars. You ever forget exactly where you're at and which car you're in? Nah, you can remember right away. I mean, these uh, these specs are, are spec racing, right? Uh, but it was cool. Uh, I've known Doug Rose uh, probably 1991. He worked in my dad's car, and uh, he was in the victory league with us a lot at Penn National. And just cool to be back here. Uh, really cool to do it myself, right? You know, there, there's a couple guys that started me with this. Bob Vince, go to Atlantic Sprinkler. He got me rolling a couple years ago. And then Steve Searock about November last year says, we ought to go to Bridgeport. So he came tonight. It was kind of cool we were here. Um, Chad and Chasey Marvel, they've been a big help this year. Bob Green and Diane. Oh, uh, B&G. Frank Davis from Phillips Garage is here. He, uh, it's been a few years since he's won a championship. Uh, Shackleton, degree engineering, uh, first choice, heavy business, Ken's Tire, Nicholas Powder Cohen, McNell, everyone that makes this deal go around, man. Uh, I'm going to run out of people, but uh, Renault the truck, and don't forget about Bob Hummer. He's, uh, he's my buddy, so uh, I appreciate it all. That was a cool, fun celebration. Doug Rose told us one night when he first got involved in the race and one of his first jobs was to work at your father's uh, race shop. One of his first jobs was to keep the cars clean and give him a, a coat of turtle wax each week. Yeah, he started out at the bottom, right? You think about it. Here's a kid that made clocks when he was 1991 and he bought a racetrack. So uh, anything's possible in this sport no matter what you do, right? You know... The, the moral of the story is anybody that grows up right, you, you want to see this sport continue for years to go so you all become a big family. Big families fight, you're going to argue, you're going to bicker, but you got each other's back at the end. And that's what makes it possible, man. These guys work their butt off. i got a lot, a lot of people here that uh, spend a lot of quality time and a lot, give up a lot of birthdays, holidays, and everything to go around. And uh, my parents, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. My dad, my mother, and uh, my uh, father-in-law, he's probably with me more than anybody else. And uh, just everyone that makes it go around, you know. Uh, we bicker, we fight, but we uh, we come back swinging. They all brought you to a season track championship here tonight at Bridgeport Speedway. Billy Pouch Jr., the kid's kid, a drive well done all season long. He holds the championship honors right now. All right, can I get my family first? Come on, kids. Hold the flag, Billy. Grab the flag. Go on, everybody. Come on, come on, Marvels, come on. Come on, everybody. Come on, Chad Tracy. Come on, everybody. You guys got the checks? God, you stink. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. We got it. We'll get them all in. Come ahead, back. Yeah. Got it, Bobby. Got it, Dave. Yay, number one. Hey, number one. Yeah, yeah. just get one with the crew, Billy. Yeah, just the crew. Yeah, yeah my kids. Come on, guys. Same mic. So I, thank you, Chad. Chad, you're part of it. Chad, you're in. You're part of the crew. You do more than you think. Come on, just the crew, guys. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, guys. We got it all good. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, guys. Nice job, guys. Thank you. Doug, can I get one with you? Dude, man, we got it. Yes, oh, we got to get Miss Bridgeport. You come in with me. Come on, you, me, and Doug. It's fine. Come on, come on. You're on the right, you're on this side. Now I got to find a picture of me and you at Penn National. Right? Yes! Hey, how'd Daddy do? Uh, what? Great, you won the championship. Heck yeah. I think he called it. Big holes in here. Yeah. <laughs>
Don't ask me again. <laughs> he was a lot more aggressive getting through than I was. Story here, you know what I mean? I thought well, they did a good, decent job. He did a great job. Uh, he did I a good job, it. he did a good job, but that diamond thing went away. It, it just know. couldn't diamond anymore. I, I, I couldn't no, turn. Nobody, nobody did. Yeah, once it stopped, it was like yeah, it was over, you know? it was the same exact. Yeah. It was funny. You know I called Marcy, and, and you ever hear Sprint Car? I feel like I got dirty air. Does that make any sense to you? I caught him, and then I can't turn anymore, Frank. It was weird. That turn was messing you up. Yeah, that was messing up there. Getting in there. Yeah. Now, I guess you may be trying something in there a little bit, but, you know, you look good, though. You Thank good. you, man. You look good. You know we've been together 10 years. Championship, right? So 16 races, we were able to pull it off for the year with two wins. Um, we started uh, 13th in the feature. We got third. I don't know, I turned the fastest lap of the race, but I felt like I got to second and I couldn't clear the gap. Weird, I don't know if it's air or what it is, right? So you can either turn the fastest lap of the race, catch someone, and then you just like stop. And it's like, what is going on here? Um, which is really weird, but that's a different story, different day. But uh, very proud of my guys, um, proud of the year we had, right? Uh, set out to win, win races, win the championship. We pulled the championship out and won a couple of races. So, uh, what a what a team effort! These guys work their butt off every week. My sponsors are will keep it going, and you guys will keep it going. Um, should be a really exciting video. Looking forward to sharing this one with you all. Uh, it's been an exciting ride. It probably guys made about forty percent of the races this year, so much appreciated. And uh, we'll enjoy this one for weeks to come. We'll catch you tomorrow. See you guys. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow, we're going to switch things up. We are going to Maple Grove to watch some drag racing. And I think I might do a video. Give me give me like a thumbs up if you want me to do a video of that. I'm, I think I might. But sorry, guys. Bye. Uncle Scott and I are watching Fonda in there waiting for you guys. And we look around. We're like, I think you're gone. Left. Everyone left us. Well, how'd Daddy do tonight? Good. Daddy did good? Yeah. Someone's still... Pass out cold over there? Oh, she oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you want to close up? <laughs> um, that's a good story. <gasps> um, like the video, subscribe the channel, <laughs> become a part of Club DTU. <laughs> uh, Club DTU? Club DTU is where we get to keep everyone up to date, like lap like by lap. Discord? Yes, you got it. You know, you know. You get, what'd you get, a donut? Ugh, donut. Um, sorry, I'm trying to plug in over here. Um, I don't know. Let us know what you guys thought. I mean, what did we? Did, I have no idea. Did they say it during the interview, guys? Do we even know? Was this the first time father and son championship at that track? I would guess yes. I would assume so. Right. I would guess. Well, at least definitely in the modifieds, but well, overall. Now we just gotta win Wall Township. Stadium. Well, open at wall. Why not? Add it to the list. All right, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. Ta ta. Bye. Until the next one. See ya. Today, Papa's going for a fifth Bridgeport Championship race. Papa has 10 limited Speedway Championship wins, has one championship winner at East Spencer. Racing track. Three championship winners at Penn National. Papa has won six championships at New Egypt Speedway. Papa has got one championship at Clifton Speedway. Tonight, Papa gonna do his 26th 
Championship. Our 2024 track champion in the modifies the one of Billy Pouch Jr.